Hey Frank, it's Brad. Uh, what I'm going to do is document painting this painting. Uh, for anybody else that sees this, I'm documenting painting a painting for Frank. It's a, uh, my friend in Australia. And uh, what I'm going to do right now is open the canvases. I'm going to do two canvases. What I'm going to do is paint the uh, some initial underpainting, like background paint, on here. It's going to be a kind of darkish color that's eventually going to lighten up as the painting proceeds to become sort of a, a look like a fresco wall or a, like papyrus, sort of old antique paper look. So I'm going to do two and then we'll see which one turns out better, and that's the one I'm going to use. I'll be back. Okay, I am back. I have changed into painting clothes. Okay. I'm going to add some um, red and some other red and some green into here. And actually, this red too. Then now I'm going I'm to mix up that color. But first, I'm going to take this. Here I'll come into the shade. Here I'm going to take this, a sponge and some water, and I'm just going to get the whole canvas kind of wet. Now when you mix all those colors together, it becomes this kind of, well it actually, in this case, it became kind of a weird gray-green. But you know what, this is just the first undercolor, so it'll be fine. like that. It's a good start, a lot of energy. Put it right over here. I'm going to do the same thing with the other canvas. And then as I said, we'll choose which one works the best. I spilled some grain on the table, so I'm going to put it on here. This is the light wash with the water, but I just added some grain.
changed its color a little bit. Very watery. This is acrylic paint, so all this is water based. That's enough. And I'm going to put it flat so it dries flat. Okay, so that's drying flat, but the one thing I want to say is I don't want texture in this because it's just the uh, underpainting. So before it gets totally dry, I'm going to wipe it to make sure there's no ridges or bumps. Meanwhile, this one's coming back. And what we're going to do here is paint into it with the blue. idea. I'll be right back. You just have to hang on for a sec. What I'm going to do, I'm going to fill this jar up with a little water and spray it. The reason for that, this is an experiment. be hard to tell but it's subtly working it's doing something I'm gonna set it over here and let it go be flat in the Sun I've got this brush that's really good for feathering paint it's this one so I'm gonna feather out the paint on this one starting to look like something old. We're going to stand over here and see if you can see it or if it's just all reflection. I think you can see it. I'll bring it closer. You know how you can take a camera and zoom in? So the same idea. Well, 
will come even closer. There's what's happening there, but now I'm going to do something even more different. Take the sponge and just wipe this down. Again, this is not some uh, process I use all the time. I'm just kind of making it up, experimenting. But I like what's going on a lot. This is starting to look like an old wall in Italy or, you know, North Africa, say, Algeria, Morocco, anywhere around the Mediterranean. Could be Greece, Albania, Montenegro, Kosovo. The Balearic Islands, anywhere with an old wall. Of course, it'd probably have some graffiti on it too. But for now, I'm liking that. All this is just going to be under the painting. No one's really going to know that this is there. That said, I have a lot of paint left over. So I think what I'm going to do is grab some small canvases and paint them. I'll be back in a second, but at this time I'm going to turn off the camera. Okay, just to follow up on that, this is going to be, so um, I'm going to paint these canvases, these tiny ones with those colors. Um, so let's see. Yeah, I'll move the camera closer and we'll do it on the table. Okay, maybe one of the hardest parts is going to get the shrink wrap off. These are panels. I've never w used these before. I think they'll be okay. Gessoed masonite, it says. I have one glove on because I knew I was going to use the sponge and it's acrylic paint so it's, it comes off your hands fairly easy. It might take a couple days but on my right hand with the sponge I thought I'd get really saturated with paint. There's not a lot of gloves available right now. Sorry if it feels like this everything's flying by and going really fast. Try to stay relaxed. And, you know, not rush. That's why I'm not putting a lot of cuts into this edit of this. And I know this isn't part of the commission I'm doing for uh, Mr. Franco, but it's part of what I'm doing today. So it all goes into the video. Every last minute. Now, I'm gonna take all this plastic
we have we have a couple of dogs and um, I just stepped in dog shit. I'll deal with that later. Uh, in, in case you're interested, yes, I'm not wearing shoes. It's bare feet. Uh, blue. Blue, I hope that's in the screen. More blue. Some blue. Half blue, well, stripey blue. Now we'll get this brown. Looks good on that one. It's actually a really nice color just on its own, like a nice background color. A couple layers of that would look really good. That's what I'm going to do right now on that one. And these panels um, are super slick. So it's kind of a whole different approach. There's no canvas grate. You know, you never know where you get um, inspiration from. And seeing as my foot is saturated with dog poop, we have two dogs, Happy and Pearl. I'm not an expert, so I can't tell you which is responsible. Okay. I take the sponge and sort of sponge that one and let that dry. I guess actually all these could dry for a little bit. I, I will go deal with the uh, foot issue and uh, because of that we're going to have an edit. That's better. Do a little investigation here to see. Okay, we're all good. Um, it's pretty warm out, but these aren't drying really, really fast. idea of somebody who's like an artist seeing this and being really angry that I'm doing everything wrong. Don't worry, it's an old desk. So this is just underpainting, but I'm going to go add some of this to those two other paintings. Go back a little bit. Yeah, so I think this red, just some energy like that, it's going to be good. Do the other one.
end of this painting, there's going to be some real bright blue. So on this underpainting, there's going to be some echoes of the blue that you are going to not even see, but you're going to sense. This one, I kind of like to leave, but it's paints too thick in the spots. So that's what's happening with that one. I don't know if that works or not. Maybe a little bit of sponging. Most of what was interesting in this is now gone. I'll leave that like that. I'll leave this like this for now. This one. What would happen if I just sprayed this with water? This one here, I said how I'd like just to be brown. So I'm gonna like go back to that concept and just paint. But you see stuff's appearing underneath, which is good. Yeah, that's just about dry enough now. I'm gonna go on to the next step. just added white, but now I'm going to add yellow and then I'm going to make it very watery. Let's see what happens. The key here is to let that under color come through.
put the other one over on this side instead. So I'm, I'm, I'm doing a combination of putting this on randomly and not being random at all. Well, I changed up the color a lot. What? Oh, shit. I like what happened there. This big glob of white that I put in started really influencing the color right in there, and that's cool. So a lot of what we had is disappearing, but that's all right. We're going to do something with that in a second. Instead of doing the sponge, I'm just That's just way too glary um, and not good. So maybe a little bit of this blue would help with the situation. I brought a little blue in because blue and yellow will kind of turn green. And then also maybe the sponge to get rid of actually some of that yellow. So we're, we're going to bring back what we're going to need, what we lost. That's the idea anyway. See what happens.
there's still too much of that yellow. It got overdone. But there's also some good other stuff happening. And I can tune that yellow down. As a matter of fact, I'm going to try one more thing here. Get the Maybe it takes me a long time to paint because honestly I feel like I haven't started yet. feeling like it's old. That's what I want. I'm kind of making it antique.
I've just made the decision. This is the painting, the background we're going to use for Frank's painting. So this one is now changing.
there's a uh, thing of inspiration and knowing when to quit. I think I'm past the knowing when to quit. So I'm going to quit right now. <laughs>